doing for coastal communities and I, I, this topic is important because um it, it pertains to our, our foods fish and all those produce we eat you know and and they are produced in commun in coastal areas where you know they suffer with power, power issues and and i wonder how how they are able to cope they after fishing they take their produce uh, a, a long distance just to make sure uh, uh, they preserve it and and they sell it and they are perishable you know goods and and sometimes they make a lot of losses just because they don't have access to power, access to energy. So, Damlola and her company have been doing a lot in this space. And I brought her on the show today to say, come and tell us what you're doing. Amazing work her company is doing. And I know she's already on to, to, to share with us. So, um, I know you're somewhere in traffic. You're trying to get to work. Um, but turn on the volume of your radio set and, and you should be able to listen to this. It's an interesting and informative session we're going to discuss today and um dami let me bring her up now i believe she can hear me she's has, she has been on the line for a while hello dami like can you hear me yes i good morning i can hear you uh, i'm so sorry the the whole rain and lagos wahala <laughs> i'm so sorry we we had to I, I don't know what to say but thank you for joining the show all the same why well, we hope you will get here in time to be in the studio uh, it might be wishful thinking. But anyways, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to still be able to join we, your call. <laughs> we're, we're happy to have you on the show. We're happy to have you on the show. So, let's get on to it because of time. Um, now, we know they fondly call you a solar queen. And when I when I always hear that, I'm like, ah, he, this queen of <laughs> solar. How did this name come about? And, and give us a bit, just one minute background of your professional journey and that led to answering the name Solar Queen. Okay, so um, the name Solar Queen, um, it came by by just me sitting down and thinking, okay, I want a brand for myself. Mm -hmm. I was um, initially being called Solar Mama. And then ah! I was thinking, oh, Mama, well, I'm a mama, but I'm still a queen. Yeah. <laughs> so I just said, okay, I will brand myself as Solar Queen. Okay. And, um, being a queen that I am, and I'm into the solar energy industry, mm -hmm. so and um, I wanted a brand for myself, and I wanted everybody to know that there's someone there that mm. is into solar energy, and she's queening all the way. <laughs> it's becoming a brand, really, and I hear a lot of. I mean, I hear, I see it a lot in the space, solar queen, solar queen. I said today I'm going to bring the queen, and, and Lagos did not allow me to 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 finish <laughs> to bring the queen here. <laughs> I'm just talking Lagos traffic. No, no problems. <laughs> so tell us about Ashdam. Uh, uh, before I go to Ashdam Solar, or uh, tell okay. us about Ash Ashdam Solar. So when I look at the name and look at your name, I see it's it looks like a combination of your name, Ashaleye yes, yes. and Damilola. And Damilola yes, Solar. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, it actually is. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So, um, Ashdam Solar is owned by myself and my husband. Oh. And, um, so before we got married, that was when we actually founded. Ashdam. Okay. So then we just said, okay, it's the name and my own first name, and then we just combined it together. Oh, and Ashdam beautiful couple things. I love this kind of this kind of energy. Wow, nice. So how's it been going? What do you guys really do? Like, just give us a round of what you do. Okay, so we are a renewable energy company in Nigeria. Okay. And we are focused on solving energy poverty okay. across different areas of the industry mm -hmm. from many solutions to solar home systems mm -hmm. to deploy to many to communities mm. and then we also have a renewable energy institute mm. where we empower people to to have the required knowledge okay. to be very skilled in the industry mm. and um, also part of what we do is we add the gender inclusion also okay because we we believe in gender equality, gender inclusion, okay. and we want to close the gender gap in the renewable energy industry. Okay. So we also ensure that we have we train women and mm. even young girls, mm. girls as young as ten years old, for them to be able to know that they too can be energy experts mm. if they want to be in the future. So mm. we train them and then we mentor them. So these are part of what we do at Ashton. They too can be solar queens. So you're raising yeah, the solar yeah. princesses. Yeah, so, so I'm actually raising an army of uh, solar queens. Ah, oh, I like. I love that. I love that. I love that. Well done. Well, let me share it for you. <laughs> well done. You. So now, but uh, now you've been running Ashdam Solar since uh, I, I found out since 2007. Um, mm -hmm. So it's been a long journey um, over over a decade. 
Uh, yeah. uh, so yeah. now, wh what is your assessment <laughs> of the sector? Um, looking at the how you have worked this long period, how have we the growth of the sector? What would be your assessment about it? How would you describe it? Okay, so I would say the sector has been has increased or has grown rapidly in recent years mm -hmm. because when we started in two thousand and seven, uh, we we had to like we, we preach a lot to people and people didn't really believe in renewable energy and um, there were so many challenges then though there are still challenges yeah. but then the challenges then were so many but right now a lot of people are embracing renewable energy okay. there is more access to finance just like all on is on board now so there is a lot of access to finance there's a lot of welcoming space there's a better enabling environment right now mm -hmm. and the growth is, is very very significant in recent years oh beautiful Beautiful. All right, if you're just joining the conversation, this is Power Solutions. Power Solutions is powered by Allon. Allon is an energy impact investment company. Uh, we are doing this with support with your number one talk station, Nigeria Info. And, and I'm talking to Damilola Shale. She's co-founder and COO of Ashdam Solar. We are discussing access to clean energy for coastal communities. Uh, you know what coastal communities is, and, and you know. So we are discussing how do we get power to these people? They fish, they produce, they, they make our food. They need power to preserve preserve the food, they are perishable products, but it seems to be a struggle. So Damnella is here to share with us what she's doing. Now, Damnella, back to you. Uh, many of these coastal communities, especially in the Niger Delta area of Nigeria, have been without electricity for decades. And, yes, and if you travel to some of these communities, you will want to cry because yeah. uh, um, it is a sad mm -hmm. situation. Uh, and these people are majorly into fishing. And we need fish. We eat fish a lot. Fish is a, is a key part of you know the food we consume in Nigeria. Uh, so, uh, uh, and it requires them to to store this food and these farm products. Um, now, from your own work you have been doing over time, how would you describe this issue? Why, why has this issue been unsolved all these years? This issue okay, of so access to these communities, power to these communities. Okay, so the reason why this has not been solved in previous years is because. These communities, before you get to them, you have to go there, see, you have to ride on boats for over an hour, sometimes two hours. And the national grid is not yet in their location. The grid line is not even close to them at all. Even the nearest communities to them do not have, um, the nearest land to mm -hmm. them do not even have access for over 20 years. So these communities, they've been there since that essential, it's over hundred of years. Hmm. Without access to clean energy, I can imagine. They don't, have, they, are, they, they don't have access to energy at all. Even the alternatives that they use, which is the physical diesel or generator, um, diesel generators or petrol or even kerosene lanterns, even those ones are very expensive for them because transporting it to them, just the fact that they're in the Niger Delta area, transporting it to them costs a lot of money. So they spend a lot. Hmm. energy assets and then these energy assets that they have is also very very unclean on all the to them they yeah. fall sick they, they don't even have they have it for a few hours in the day most of them when mm -hmm. we did our um visibility study they have it first just a few hours and then they spend so much and then the cost of maintaining just for those few hours maybe two three hours in the evening that's when they used to use electricity for from generators hmm. the cost of it is way way expensive it's for them expensive. so they've been living in deep energy poverty hmm. students their children can't study at night yeah don't have access to um, electricity to power their productivity of energy to power their freezers hmm. they, they have a lot of losses in their product wow even their health centers they don't have access to electricity to so the problem i see here now is um, even the access to get them the power is a problem. Exactly. Access to get the power to them is also the problem because of their topography. Oh. Because of that because of where they are. So hmm. access to get to them is is very is, is a problem and then this leads to a lot of extra problems. Hmm. Problems of some problems. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, now in twenty twenty uh, you applied, or the company Ashdam Solar applied for the um, um, off-grid energy challenge, and, and you picked one of these coastal communities. It's called Odula 
abi odunla odunla at ilajel ajemitale in the ilajel local government area of ondo state you yeah. pick you pick this community it's a coastal community and uh, 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 you you asjam was was announced as one of the winners of this challenge and you got a 100k yes, funding uh, with support yes, from yes, us yes. adf and all on congratulations on that again i can't tell you with that so now but <laughs> now tell us about this project because you went all the way to uh, uh, uh Tale, udunla community in ondo state uh, uh to sort of implement this project at, at a mini grid uh, uh, a mini grid solution you did there for them and this will help the women and the people uh, uh, to be able to manage their farm produce, store it and all of that. So tell us about the project and why you chose this community. Okay, so we chose this community because we wanted to go to the last mile communities, like communities that are not on the grid, that don't have the hope of getting close to the grid in the near future, mm -hmm. and they need this solution because they need electricity. Electricity is the bloodline of economic development. So we wanted to have this kind of impact on such communities. So the way to look for such communities started. And mm -hmm. then we found one that we fell in love with. And um, we went to this community and we had several community engagements with them. Though the first time I was going to this community, I was thinking, God, what are you doing on the sea? How did you get there? Did you get there by boat? How did you guys yeah, get to the community I, I, itself? I, I, got there by, I got there by boat. So we got to the community through a referral. So we and we got that community via boat. So we had to go, and I will tell you that was the first time on the boat on the sea. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So we, we got there via boat, one and a half hours journey on the sea, just to get to this community. And when we got there, we saw that these people are living here, and these people, they are human. They need this access. They don't have a lot of. They, they have the potential, but because of lack of electricity. They are lacking behind. Mm, mm. So, and we could see the activities in these communities. We could see a lot of pharmacy. We could see different kind of shops, different mm. kind of economic activities going on. And they were struggling to to make ends meet because of the cost of energy. But then they were still very, very well into the use of, or into the their goods. So we see that this kind of community if they have access to energy yeah. then they have better chance of having a lot of increase in different aspects of their areas personal lives and community life so, so so tell us about the mini grid now um, um what kind of mini grid was 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 installed there and and okay. how does it work okay so the kind of mini grid i was deployed in there is a specific kilowatt mini grid no say that again we didn't get that what kind of mini grid Kilowatt okay, 56 grid. kilowatts. Okay. Yes, 56 kilowatts, and it is totally off the grid. Okay. It's not connected to the grid, and um, this is being is operated remotely. So we, so we have vendors, local vendors in the community, which we also train some people as operators in the community. Oh. But then we also do remote monitoring in the community. So as I am right here in Lagos, mm -hmm. I could if there's somebody that is performing electricity test, we could. Disconnect the person remotely. Okay. If we don't, if, if, if we see that there's electricity there, we could monitor what the usage of each household is. Hmm. We could also vend electricity remotely or by our local vendors. Okay. So we have a lot of online monitoring going on right there, and then we also have some physical presence to local operators in the community. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, amazing. Well done, as Jamsula, uh, and we understand that this this mini grid serves. Uh, uh, over 1,500 people in Odonla coastal communities uh, yeah. providing so, access uh, to electricity for them for the very first time. This is yeah, amazing. Yeah, the very first time. And this, this um, mini grid is connected to seven cluster communities. So it wasn't only at Jemita that we powered, we mm. powered some other communities that are close to Jemita. So we have Midroye, we have Ibomoga, we have Salem City. So we have uh, we have Ogodio, Aken Loye. So we have seven cluster communities connected to these 56 kilowatts. Wow, wow. So th these communities now have mm -hmm. access to solar power lights 24-7. Uh, yes, 
twenty four seven electricity, like they are really enjoying electricity now, even more than those of us in urban areas like Lakers and Ibado. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, they have some first level electricity right now. Impressive. If you're just joining the conversation, I've been talking to Damilola Ashale, who is co-founder and CEO of Ashdam Solar. And if you want to have a feel of what she's explaining to us um, about the mini grid solar power they deployed in Odola community, go to YouTube right now and type Ashdam Solar. Uh, and they yes, have a so. <laughs> beautiful documentary uh, of how this was deployed and how the community is feeling about this solution in that in, in their areas. I mean, go and watch this clip. Just go to YouTube right now, Ashdam Solar, uh, uh, and watch that clip. That video is about uh, some 10 minutes uh, documentary of how they deployed this solution. And you have a feel of what we are saying and, and, and what we are explaining right now uh, to see how solar is bringing life uh, uh, to these communities. Now, but Damlala, let me come back to you. Uh, can you tell us how much support did you receive from members of the community, their leaders, the youths? Uh, how did you manage community relations and engagement to make sure this, this happens? How was that like? Was it difficult? Was there a challenge you want to share? Uh, well, there were several challenges, but then um, how we first did this was that uh, we ensure that we add um, a local person okay. in the community that is a licensed officer for us. Okay. So we communicated to the community through this person. And um, we also ensure that we have listening ears. So hmm. we listen to the problems of the community. Wow. So we design our solutions for that problem, not for the problem, hmm. not to solve the problem of those of us in the urban areas. Mm. So we we'll listen to them, and then we ensure that we are able to have a very good communication with them. Yeah, there are some times that some of the community members said, oh, we are speaking with this person, I want you to speak with me. But then we call them back together again, and then we let them understand that they also wanted this, because they, they realized that we are bringing a solution for them. Mm. So they were also willing to receive us. Mm. And they were willing to have somebody to mediate between us and them. Beautiful. So, so that was how we were able to like solve some of the community issues because mm. I must say that we didn't have community issues. There was a particular time that some of the community members said, "Oh, you can't take this for yeah, my." Were they just hearing about solar for the first time in that community? In that particular community, yes. So in many communities, there was a particular community that you know um, very far from them, but this particular community already had a solar installation, so mm. this had that this particular committee had solar installation. Okay. And then they were also willing to welcome us mm. as Ashtag. Mm. All right. Uh, Damilala, we are going to take, talk to Lagos in a minute. Let's, let's, let's just take some few calls uh, uh, to hear what, what people are saying. Um, I know you're on the road. We're really sorry. Uh, for the background noise. <laughs> so, but let's take some Lagos. If you want to call in, you can call me. Let's hear from you. 0700 993 993 993. I want to hear from you. How, how, how does this come to you? And uh, Are you from Ondola community um, or Jamie Tale or any of those community in the Laja local government of Ondola State? Lagos, call me. I, I, would, I, would like to, I would like to hear from you too. Hello, good morning. Hello? Power Solutions. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yes, My good morning. Is, uh, Jonathan. Yes, Jonathan, talk to me. I'm you... from Elaje local government. Beautiful. Precisely, I'm from um, uh, Itikon, local government, and my mom is from uh, Abetogo. Okay. Please, what you people are doing is a very laudable project. Wow. If we go to that community, in fact, I'm a graduate of economics. Okay. And uh, uh, also, also a uh, member of ISEN. Okay. I weep for my people over there anytime I go to go and to go and rest. Hmm. No electricity, no water. In fact, the life they are living there. I wonder when, whether we are Nigerians. Thank I you so much. You. Thank you so much, Jonathan. We can't we can't speak for long. All right, Lagos, call me. I want to hear from you. Are you from Odola community? Uh, um, how how do you see this project there? Have you have you been there? Have you have you have you heard about it? Zero seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. Call me, and, and and I would like to hear from you. Okay, Damola. <laughs> yes, uh, someone just jo some Jonathan just called from from that community and amazing work. Amazing. I don't know if you are listening. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, okay. We, we are getting too much feedback from your background. But before I let you go, um, can you tell us about the, the, the Ash Jam Solar Academy? Uh, I mean, a lot of solar queens we want to learn from you how they can also uh, 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 build a career in solar. Quickly, in just one minute, before we let you go. Okay, so Ash Jam Solar Academy is um, building an army of skilled expertise in the renewable energy sector. Okay. And though we are for men and for women, but then we also have special programs for women. So, um, right now, we have a program that we are doing in collaboration with ICA, okay. where we are going to bring in some ladies um, from the age of 18 to 29. And so, if them. anyone wants to be part of it, how can they reach you? Yeah, so they can reach us. Is there a number? Our phone number, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Our office number is 090 okay. 65 72 okay. 4265. Yes, can you call that again, please? 090 okay. 65 Okay. Seven two. Okay. Four two six five. All right. Thank you a lot, Damilola. So sorry you couldn't make it to the studio. We hope no another problem. time we can do this again and make sure we have you in the yeah, studio. But at yeah, this time, I have to me. let you go. Um, thank you so please much. Please stay safe. Yeah, no please stay safe and and be careful. Yeah. Thank you. Bye yeah, right. bye. Hello. Good morning. This is Power Solutions. Talk to me. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. One minute. Yeah, okay, okay, bro. I beg. Eh? If people they talk, maybe let them. They, like, that guy will come for me. Like the way they follow the speech. Eh? You know, let's just cut the guy off. If you hear, we want to hear what they talk now. Let the left person they laugh first. Now, they, maybe the one where they favor people before you can get in. I beg. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Okay, we were working with time. Um, uh, we're always up against time. So uh, we're sorry. Every caller has one minute to make their point. Sometimes 30 seconds because of time. So we're sorry about that. But anyways, we've been talking to Damilola Shale, a uh, co-founder uh, and CEO of Ashdam Solar. And she was sharing with us what her company was doing, uh, bringing access to clean energy and, and solar power to, to coastal communities, especially with the recent one they just installed in Ilaje uh, at Jemitale in Odon State uh, that is serving over 1,500 uh, 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 people in that community. Amazing work and also uh, providing access to electricity for the first time for that community. Uh, over 300 households and 52 businesses are benefiting from this. And we want to say kudos to Ashdam Solar. In case you want to learn more about Ashdam Solar, you can just type on Google Ashdam Solar to find them. Or on Instagram, you can just go Ashdam Solar on Instagram or any other social media platform. Uh, you can learn more about what they are doing. And we want to thank Ashdam Solar for coming on the show today. But well done, well done. We want to see more communities being powered. Uh, and, and as we do the show every week, I will try to bring a lot of these companies uh, on the show to come and share with us what they are doing. Coastal communities also need access to power. Uh, and it's important we also uh, 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 give that access to them. So one more call before we go off. Um, one minute. Hello, good morning. This is Power Solutions. Hello, good morning, sir. Please, yes. I would like for... Uh, how to give us repeat the number we we wanted to get it okay. secondly i uh, would like to find out can we do, do they also provide solar energy to individuals okay. individual homes as in lagos for instance okay i'm staying in the Juleki, so i would like to get to know sir all this right yes, thank sir. you so much yeah all right if you want to find ashdam solar we may have missed the number if you want to find them on on instagram just type ashdam solar you know, you're going to get them. Send them a DM on Instagram, uh, and I'm sure that will suffice. Unfortunately, we can we don't have the number to call again, and, and she's dropped off already from the show. But no worries. Uh, maybe next week when I'm back on the show. But if you want to get it more, you can find us on Instagram, all on energy, all on energy on Instagram. Send us a message, and I'll get that number across to you and myself. Find all on across all social media platforms, and so you can connect all on energy at all on energy on Instagram. And you can send me a DM, and we can respond to that. So as we drop off, this is Power Solutions. Uh, Power Solutions is powered by All On Energy Impact Investment Company, uh, with support and in partnership from your number one talk station, Nigeria Info. Until next week, when we bring another exciting topic uh, on the show, uh, I want you to have a very good Monday and a very good week. I know it's a wet Monday everywhere across Lagos, and I hope you're staying safe, driving safe. Uh, uh, it's going to get better. Until next week I come, my name is Wisdom, Wisdom Chap Jumbo, and um, have a very lovely week.